Hey everybody, hi, and uh, it's been a little while, but I wanted to jump on and check in with you. It's in about week seven or eight, um, and as far as you, your um, position in this market, what your business is doing, what your consulting practice is doing, you may have been flip-flopping back and forth over this last few weeks. You may have been up on the down on a roller coaster. You might feel like you're inclining. You might feel like you're on a decline, and in fact, each week might feel different. So it's all okay because this is all kind of navigating what we're supposed to be doing and focusing on. But what I can focus on and what I'd like to come on here and chat with you about today is to give you this perspective of um, why you shouldn't discount your professional content right now. Uh, content meaning everything you're putting out there about your professional service or your expertise. This group is about experts or about um, positioning yourself, your value, your worth, and your content on a different level that will essentially wipe out your competition or put no one really in the same um, category as you or finally be able to step out on the stage um, and promote the true value of your expertise in a confident and succinct way. And we're all trying to do that, right? You're all trying to get to that space and see your kind of moment in the sun or find out where your, your niche is. Um, and here's something I want you to remember. Um, right now, what's happening with people online is that there's never been a better time to put your best out front. And content's kind of having its day in the sun. Events are canceled, conferences postponed, um, you know, lunches, dinners, engagements, retreats. You know, it's kind of like there's no other game in town as far as business development goes. And unless you're ha driving hard sales, right, product sales, uh, that's a little bit different than what we're talking about here. But the product is you. So you need to be putting the value forward. Now, something I've been chatting about with both clients and um, with different groups and Q&As online is, well, yeah, but Amanda, the, the level of content is like, you know, 10 times some companies are pumping out 10 times worth of content right now. Or there's too much online or, you know, people are just sick of content right now. They don't want to be bombarded. Um, yes, and <laughs> that's true. But I also want you to remember that readership is also at an all time high. So you have to factor that into what's happening. The other thing you have to factor in is how are people using readership right now? I agree with you that the content and the drivel and the pumping out, um, unconsciously is probably not where you want to go but I know from my experience the things I value more and am interested in are affecting me more greatly I'm actually researching more and I'm on Google more so I actually what I'm found is in this time of crisis people could actually be thanking you for sharing your expert content and I'm finding there's just more gratitude and receptivity because when people are looking for something and getting down to brass tacks, they're not kind of dilly-dallying their way through the internet maybe once as they might have been in the past or they were used to. They're getting a little more direct and they're getting a little more real about, you know, what they need help with and, you know, how do I fix this? So you have to remember that when it comes to delivering your content and the best way that I can share that, how I've been doing it and how it's been working and producing gratitude rather than this feeling of, you know, look at me, look at me, is um, ask this one simple question. So the next time you are tweaking your marketing or you need content to go out, you should be asking yourself um, or, or answering this question. Tell me something I haven't heard before. Here's what people need from experts. They need you to be one step ahead. They need experts to deliver insight. They need excerpt, that's where your value is. It's in bringing all your education or your experience or your case studies and telling them something about their predicament that they need to understand. Um, so when I'm clicking through things and your, your marketing speak is sounding a little bit like um, too generic or, you know, parents are stressed with school. Therefore, it's like, I know that because I can actually, go, you know, I can just open any news page and I can... I can learn that parent, I know that parents are stressed, you know, don't, if you're using that generic type of um, marketing language, it actually looks like a ploy, it actually looks like you're trying to take advantage of that situation in order to help me, to help sell something to me. So if you're just, you know, spewing out the same stats or 
observations that other experts in your field are, I'm actually calling you guys to step, go one level up, go a little bit deeper and then tell me something about that that I haven't heard before. Or tell me another level of that fact that makes me go a little deeper and go, ooh, you know, I never thought about that or that's true. Then you have my attention. So I'm trying to, you get that that's kind of the only way right now to, um, to step out. Your other option, don't mark it, right? What's your other option? I mean, content really has the, the ideal way to um, right now have its day in the sun. And there's a way to evoke gratitude and value from your followers and listeners. And you will. You'll get emails that say, thank you for putting that in perspective. Or I've never heard someone tell me this before. Tell me more. Or what do you have to offer? Or what, do you ha what else do you have to say? So using this time, not to just stretch out and wait for things to get back to normal, but the whole goal being to use the time to step into that thought leadership. And the online frontier is a great practice ground for us to, to demonstrate that and to practice that. It's kind of a safe place, really, depending on how wide you distribute or publish things. But it's a safe place to practice some of these key messages, some of this thought leadership that you're going to have to do anyway and that you especially have to do now. So that's why now is really your, your time to deliver that professional, that content gold. Okay, so um, yeah, it's calling you, and it's hard work, uh, no question, right? But my thought is you have the time, and if your business isn't going anywhere, if you've already made the commitment to see this thing through, to commit to help people, to deliver the best, to be that consultant, be that coach, um, wouldn't you want to deliver people or wouldn't you want to um, branch out right now? Like, wouldn't you want to take advantage of stepping ahead rather than just waiting and seeing if you're more desirable in a different market? I mean, this is the market we've been given, guys. So um, all I'm trying to do both with clients and, and with my mentorship and other places is to um, remind people of that fact. So again, um, tell me something I haven't heard before. It, it sometimes just means, you know, tell me that in a new way, you know, deliver something extra, kick it up a notch, you know, go one level deeper. And this is a perfect time to challenge yourself to do that. Maybe this is your week, right? It's midweek. Um, if you don't have uh, much on the docket for Friday, make that your day that you challenge yourself with some of these new messages or take an old marketing ad. See if you can kind of uh, massage that a little bit. And if you're really feeling um, what clients feel for, for me is that, they need someone to kind of pull them over that finish line. They need the perspective to step out um, for someone to help build those messages. And of course, I'm here for that. But it all, it all starts with a conversation, right? If even there's a good fit. So as always, I am going to leave my link in the uh, the post here. And um, if you want more on this, I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a couple of articles around this theme. So um, in interviews and whatnot, but I think it's really important. It's something we're skipping over. People are starting to feel dejected, but in fact, that's the time where you have to narrow in um, and deliver something a little more. And it can start with one tiny message. So I'm here to I'm here to help. Um, hope that some of you who've been in here for a while maybe take advantage of that link, uh, maybe for the first time. And either way, tons of value delivered um, in that one hour call. So. That's what I'm here for. Um, hope you're getting a lot from the group. Love the participation. Um, even the little polls and suggestions and comments. It all helps shape what we're all trying to do here. So uh, it's nice to connect with you guys. Uh, stay safe. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys here real soon.